kapangyarihan. Now, let's put that power to the test. It's time for... Key Check! Hello everyone, I am Junel Labor. Ako po si Julian Baldo Cubello and this is Kate Check. Hindi lang ito tamisa ng talino para sa ating mga contestants. Ito din ay para sa inyong lahat na gustong laging dinadagdagan ang inyong mga kaalaman. Every Kate Check is an opportunity for us to teach and to learn. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition when we find out kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check Champion. Nandito na tayo sa ating weekly finals. Kilalari natin ngayon ang ating apat na daily winners. One of them will move on to a spot in our semifinals kung pumasa siya sa ating K-Check sa araw na ito. First contestant ay si Aileen, BS Geology graduate from UP Diliman and now a research associate at an international company. She loves volcanoes and science in general. The second contestant is Versil, a first-year BS Physics student who loves to go to the gym. Our third contestant is Matt, a first-year Cal student whose interests include writing and telling horror stories, theater arts, and Filipino films. At ang ating apang-apat na contestant ay si Shane. Siya naman ay isang BS Physics freshman sa UP Diliman at isa siyang part-time math tutor at miyembro ng Pisara bilang isang volunteer tutor. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Professor Glesia Tienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman and Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry, UP Diliman. And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa ating K-Check Paramihan where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important lead. Let's begin! <music> Eileen, what is the more popular name for the sport of soccer? Football. Kate Versil, which female superhero was created by Mars Ravelo and went after villains like Valentina? Darna. Kate Matt. Ringo Starr and John Lennon were members of what famous music group? The Beatles. Kate Shane. In sports, old school basketball has a starting five of two guards, two forwards, and what fifth player position? Center. Okay, check. Eileen, what 2013 Disney film was inspired by Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tale, The Snow Queen? Snow White. Malik, Frozen. Versil, what country is due north of most of the contiguous United States? Canada. Okay, check. Matt, the crawl or freestyle is the fastest stroke in what sport? Swimming. Okay, check. Shane. With an area of more than 2,400 square kilometers, what city in the Philippines is largest in land area? Malik, Davao City. Eileen, what is the surname of the president of Russia who took office in 2012? Putin. Kate, Versil, in chess, how many pawns does one player have at the start of the game? Eight. Kate, Matt. In anatomy, what do you call the small blood vessels whose name comes from the Latin word for hair? Correct answer is capillaries. Shane, what Italian pasta gets its name from the Italian term for thin string? Spaghetti. K check. And that's it for our first round, the K check Paramian round. Friday na kailangan galingan. Kasi, Friday na? Oo. Ang bilis naman. Sir Junel, ano ang pinakapaborito mong round? Siyempre yung round one. Ay, grabe naman oo. dahil round mo. Oo, siyempre. <laughs> <laughs> Yun ang short ano. Pero, kasi walang pressure. Oo, hindi ko kailangan gumanon. Hindi ko ang ako medyo ko may ko. physicality kasi ako. So, mm. gusto mga, may mga hampasan. Ay, okay. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Ayoko na mag-follow up question doon. Anyway, this time, may mga katanungan ang ating mga contestants naman sa ating mga panel of experts, iba? Ang saya ng round na ito. Shane, may tanong ka raw sa isa sa kanila. Para, 
para kanina, may tanong po ako kay Professor Glessy. At ano po ang inyong pinakapaboritong tula? Ang pinakapaborito kong tula ay um, ano ito yung sinulat ni Ruth Elinia Mabanglo na kung ibig mo akong makilala. Okay. Kung ibig mo akong makilala. Okay. I-search mo yan mamaya-maya siya. Eh. No? Okay. Kung tukos saan yun. Versel, ikaw may katanungan ka ba sa kahit sino sa kanila? Uh, may tanong po kayo kay Prof. Ricky po. Why chemistry? Ako hindi ko alam. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling ko yung high school ko na science, doon ako medyo na challenge. Medyo konti yung alam ko. Tapos sumali ako ng contest na talo ako agad. So sabi ko, baka mas pwedeng laliman yung aaralin ko dito. Tapos, strategy na rin. Konti yung nagki-chemistry. So pagpasok sa UP, baka mataas yung chance ko makapasok. Kaya chemistry. Okay. Ganda ng strategy ni Prof. Ricky, no? Uh, iba ang kanyang processing ng buhay. Sabihin natin yan sa mga nagbabalak pumasok sa uh, universidad. Yun pala yun, no? Alright, at ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next year on K-Check! karunungan check. Ngayon, mag-points recap muna tayo. May klaro ng lead, no? With 30 points si Vercel. Pero yung ating tatlo ay hindi na masyad masyadong malayo ang agwat with 20 points each. Si Aileen, si Matt, at saka si Shane. So, more or less, mm, everyone is in it yes, so. for Gusto the running. Gusto mo mag tayo kung sino mananalo. Pustahan. Uh, Pusuan natin mamaya. Okay, mamaya, mamaya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pustahan talaga. <laughs> All right. We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! This is your first question. One of the hottest places on Earth recently recorded temperatures of more than 52 degrees Celsius. Shane. Sahara Desert. Bale. Versal. Death Valley. Okay, check. I'll finish the question. What is the name of this national park located north of Los Angeles and west of Las Vegas, USA? Question two. The largest empire in pre-Columbian America arose from the Peruvian highlands sometime in the early 13th century. What is this empire that the Spanish conquered in the 16th century? The correct answer is Inca or the Incan Empire. Question 3. Never released in the United States as a single, this song by Led Zeppelin proved to be its most famous. What is 1971 record regarded as one of the greatest rock songs of all time? Matt. Story to Heaven. Check. Question number four. In the news, Sana Marin became prime minister aged 34 in 2019 to be the world's youngest elected leader. Santa Marin is the Prime Minister of what country? The correct answer is Finland. Question number five. In pop music, what single by Camila Cabello featuring Ed Sheeran reached number five on the Billboard Global 200 this year? The answer is Bam Bam. Question 6. In 2006, what city became the capital of Myanmar? The answer is Nai Piedal. Question 7. In taxonomy, give one of the two insects that belong to the order Lepidoptera meaning scale-winged. 
Shane. Butterfly and Moth. Okay, check. What European city that gives its name to a sausage also houses the oldest university in the world? Aileen? Hungary. Mali. Matt. Frankfurt. Mali. Correct answer is Bologna. Question number nine. The Rise of Skywalker is the ninth film in what popular movie franchise? Brazil. Star Wars. Okay, check. Question 10. Filipino-American singer Gabriela Sarmiento Wilson won five Grammy Awards, including Song of the Year for I Can't Breathe. How is she more popularly known? The answer is her. H-E-R. Her. Second to the last question for round two. Clue? Tagalog ang sagot. Sina Benjamin E. Diokno, Nestor A. Espinilla, at Amando M. Tetangco Jr. ay naging governor ng anong ahensya ng pamahalaan. The answer is Banko Sentral ng Pilipinas. The last question for round two. Question number 12. Who is the Greek goddess of wild animals and the hunt? Verse. Artemis. Okay, check. I'll finish reading the question. Who is associated with the Roman deity Diana? Verso, Artemis is key check. And that's the end of our key check pabilisan round. Points recap muna tayo. Nauna si Versil with 90 points. Sumusunod sa kanya si na Matt and Shane with 30 points each, tsaka si Eileen with 10 points, no? I can almost smell the victory. Nino. Ako talaga ang may victory dito, di ba? <laughs> Dahil nakaraos tayo ng ilang araw din ito. Ito naman, victory ito para magtanong, no? Yon. Sa mga what teachers, no? Matt, anong katanungan mo? Um, ano pong favorite number nyo sa electric fan? Number oh. sa electric fan. Let's start with Prof. Ricky. May chemistry dito, siguro, no? Assuming 1 to 3 lang, o 3 talaga kasi mainitin ako. Kung merong mas mataas, tataasan ko pa. <laughs> Isagad na natin yan. Very good, no? Prof. Glassy. 2. Bakit? Bakit? Kasi <laughs> laging gusto ko dalawahan. Ayun. Okay, okay. Bakit? Ang gulo ng usapan. Prof. Neil, ikaw. <laughs> Tumahimik yung lahat, uh -huh. diba? Natatakot ako sa sagot ni Ma'am Glessy. Ako, uh, pwede bang mangopia ng sagot? Yung sagot ni Sir Ricky. So, tatlo din. Dapat yung pinakamalakas. Maximum. Hmm, pinakamalakas, no? Mamaya may yung pinakamalakas sa mga tanong ang itatanong ninyo. Because this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet. Yan lang ating ultimate pagalingan round. Susunod na here on K-Check! Recap muna tayo. Merong klarong naglilid, no? Si Versil with 90 points. Tapos meron tayong tie si Matt at si Shane with 30 points. Pero tingnan natin kung si Aileen kung kaya pang balik na rin ang mundo with 10 points. Correct. Ako may tanong ako kay Aileen, no? Okay. Ano magiging strategy mo para balik na rin ang mundo? mundo? <laughs> well, I always live by the saying na habang may buhay, may pag-asa. So, hindi tayo susuko hanggat wala pang Ending ng round three. Go, Eileen. No? Kasi in this round, no, the ultimate K-check pagalingan round, correct answers are worth 30 points. Wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. So, pwedeng-pwede pa nga siyang humabol. Yes. At ito, pinaka-exciting talaga na part para mas madagdaga ng kalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers sa round na ito sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Weekly Winner. Contestants, 
Let's begin. Question number one, Prof. Neil. Tanong para sa political science at mass communication. Which refers to an aggregate of the individual sentiments and views expressed by a significant number of people about a particular topic. ginagawa to ng mga survey firms para ma-measure ang tamang sagot ay public opinion. Maraming salamat. Prof. Glessie, question number two. Question number two. Sa larangan ng Philippine literature, okay, what is the Tagalog term used in reference to the text of, a local, of the local version of the metrical romance? Chain. Ito ay awit. Awit is correct. K-check. Okay. The other term is corrido. Yun din yung isang tawag para sa uh, isang version ng metrical romance. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glessy. Prof. Ricky, next question please. Natural sciences tayo. The management of natural resources with the goal of minimizing the resource waste and sustaining resource supplies for current and future generations. This is focused on protecting biodiversity by preventing extension of species. The correct answer is conservation. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Neil. Tanong para sa geography. Anong teritoryo sa South Asia o Timog Asia ang pinag-aawayan ng tatlong bansa. Chain? South China Sea. Mali? Ma. Uh, Himalayan Mountains. Paulit ng sagot. Uh, Himalayan Mountains. Uh, mali? Brazil. Tibet. Mali? Pinag-aawayan ang teritoryong ito ng India, Pakistan, at China. Ang tamang sagot ay Kashmir. Maraming salamat. Prof. Glessy, next question please. Uh, ang susunod na tanong ay nasa larangan pa rin ng sining. What is the name of the event where the painting, the assassination of Governor Bustamante and his son was exhibited and awarded first prize? Turing nating event ay ang St. Louis Exposition. Nakakuha, Prof. Ricky, next question please. Marine science, what is the term for microorganisms that float along at... Versil. Plankton. Let me continue. At the mercy of the sea's tides and currents, their name comes from the Greek meaning drifter or wander. And these are crucial source of food to aquatic organisms. The correct answer is plankton. Okay, check. Very good. Prof. Neil, next question, please. Tanong para sa Philippine history. Sino ang kauna-unahang babae na naglingkod sa Senado ng Pilipinas? Tamang sagot ay Hieronima. Hieronima Texon. Prof. Glassy, next question. Next question ay tungkol sa urban planning. Okay. Who were the brains behind the City Beautiful Project, Manila Urban City Project, during the American occupation? Okay, ang sagot ay si Daniel Burnham at ang assistant niyang si Pierce Anderson. Anderson, siya yung sila yung nag-design nung luneta, no? yung, yung ganong klase no? ng concept. Thank you po. Prof. Freaky. Physics tayo. What principle states that each point on a wavefront may be considered a new wave source? Change. Uncertainty principle. Huygens-Fresnel or Huygens-Principle? 
Maraming salamat. Ba, nakakuha na, no? Prof. Neil. Tanong para sa world history. Sino ang nagsilbing o namunong diktador sa Uganda mula 1971 hanggang 1979? Ang tamang sagot ay Ibi Prof. Glassy? Sa larangan ulit ng literatura ng panitikang Pilipino, Who is the author of the novel La Loba Negra? Sagot ay si Father Jose Burgos. Maraming salamat. Pinakahuling katanungan, Prof. Ricky. Mukhang physics din ulit. Mabilisan na lang kasi medyo madali ito. What is the standard unit of capacitance in the international system of units? Versal. Farad. Named after English physicist Michael Faraday, the correct answer is Farad. Maraming salamat. And that is it. That is it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalina. Congratulations to our weekly winner, Versil, with a final score of 135 points. He will be receiving a cell phone from CBUP and will see Versil again in the semifinals. Thanks to Aileen, Matt, and Shane for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessi, and Professor Ricky. This is Julian Baldo Cubello. And I am Junelle Labor. Join us again on Monday for another K-Check! K -Check.